Hello, everybody. Sarah Lane from TechCrunch here, and I'm I'm here with my new friend Anthony, who yes. I have been told would like to uh, prefers to go by Mix because you might know him better as Sir mix -a -Lot. We're here in Austin. I asked you how long you'd been here. You've been here since almost since a week Saturday. ago. Saturday. What are you doing every day in Austin? I'm doing research. Okay. What kind on of research? Food. Whoa. So I could name Seems some places, like the right but place I won't. to be. I went to Franklin's and I have to say barbecue place. Believe the hype. Yeah. This is South by Southwest and of course one would equate you with being, oh, you're a music guy, you'd be here yeah. for the music portion, but this is interactive, this is like the nerd, this is the nerd weekend. This is where I the love. geeks and the startup people and the you know the CEOs with the dreams are here. So why did you decide to have a big presence during interactive? Because, I mean, it's, it's kind of what I do anyway. Before it was even cool I was doing it. I was just I, I was scared to associate my brand with it. So I've been, you know, when I was 13 years old, I built my first DC powered amplifier, right? Uh -huh. And I've been, ever since then, I've always been to really hard electronics, you know, but I've taken a liking lately to embedded stuff. Okay. Um, so I'm dealing with a couple of cats, got a little team I'm putting together, a couple oh. of guys doing some embedded stuff for me, but. Now when you say embedded, what do you mean? For anybody I who's mean, watching and saying, I want to know more about what your current Technology are. independent of a phone. Okay. Basically, you know, okay. something that a standalone piece with a microcontroller in it that can be controlled externally, wait till you see it. And it'll be cool, it'll be very cool. And it's not something that, somebody brought to me and I signed on. That's okay. not what happened. This is something I actually thought of. Where do you think the music industry stands now? You've got a lot of artists who don't like streaming music. They don't like that model. They think it's, 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 it's not sustainable. Then you have people on my side who say, yeah, but my Artia subscription is so great. I get to listen to all these albums. It works so well for me. What's your thought on that? The music industry did this to itself. I say this all the time. I remember when a lot of us artists were begging the labels to lower the price of CDs. We knew we were making them for 75 cents to a dollar. Why are we charging $19 for the CD? Right. Worse than that was the fact that they would release a single. You could get that single for 99 cents, maybe a buck 50, whatever. Once, you, once I went platinum, once, I, once you sell a million records and they yank the CD and force feed you a $20 album and you only like two songs. Yeah. So that gave birth to Napster. Napster, that model, proved to be very effective. Yes. Not legal, but effective. And Apple took that model and ran with it. Sure. And that's where we where we're at today. So fast forwarding to today, I love, I kind of like what Taylor Swift did. Mm -hmm. She said, I'm not gonna allow you to stream my music. And she has that right. The beauty of today's um, music, I won't say economy, but I, I guess for lack of an infrastructure, is that you can choose how your music heard, is heard or sold. Right. Or both, you know, um, and that's, kind of what I like about what she did. I really have to ask you about Anaconda, which yeah. is one of my favorite songs. It re it's, it's very catchy. Yeah. I mean, you got to give it up. So how do you feel when, because 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 Baby Got Back is, I mean, it's it's basically just the, the same song. My Anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. My Anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. Hers is a lot sexier than my video was. I watched her so many times. I bet you I racked up at least 10 million of those views. <laughs> Trust me, I'm like, go back. Wait a minute, did that shake that way? Wait, go back. You know, so. I seem to recall your original video was was pretty sexy in its own way uh, for a era, seventh grader that I guess I was stuff. at the time. I mean, I was figuring out how did that one girl make one cheek move? Anyway, <laughs> I but no, I, I it's 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 flattery. I love it. I love the fact that you know we talked on the phone. She had this cool idea. I heard the track. I'm like, wow. Is that how it works? Does, does, does Nikki say, hey, uh, Mix, I have this idea, I'd like your blessing, and you say, sure. That's kind of how this worked. I mean, obviously, you know, there's some other people that had to get involved at some point, right. but that's what I love about it, is that she called, this is what I'm looking to do, I'm like, cool, she went forward, I went forward, we got the deal done in less than a week. Wow. Done. That's amazing. I love it. That's the way it should be. Yeah. Yeah, and then the beauty of it is, once again, I, I think if you get rid of social media, a lot of that would go away. I've cut so many deals from a damn tweet, you wouldn't believe it. Somebody said, I'm thinking about using mix a lot for blank. Charmin. I got I hit I hit Charmin back. Really? Let's talk. Charmin Charmin toilet paper. Yeah. So you've never been here before. Never. You are a South by Virgin. And I'm blown Very away by how many cats come down here that know absolutely nothing about what they're talking about. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Yeah, I've looked that's, at footage. That's the industry already. Yeah, I've looked at footage of entertainers. Mm -hmm. Talking about technology, and I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> I mean, and they're saying stuff. Yeah, so you know, um, 
you know. So yeah, I, I one time I had these headphones <laughs> and I changed out to see the titanium capacitor a lot a little more high end than the Teflon capacitor. So what I come on man, stop! I'm trying to remember what they read backstage. See, you should do a show on Tech Ranch where you debunk yeah. musical theories Let's from do people it. who don't know any better. Let's do it. I have one I'm, I want to debunk right now. All right. Those of you who record music in the digital domain, lately we've been talking about warming up the sound and people saying that tape is actually cleaner than the hard drive. No, it's not. <laughs> what you are actually doing is distorting the sound with a nice touch of compression and then sending it back into the digital domain and it sounds beautiful. Tell the truth to people, quit lying. Don't make these kids think they gotta go out and buy a $70,000 tape machine to get that sound. No. Okay, what's next? Uh, I think that's where we're gonna stop. You heard it here, all right? This lady is beautiful. What? <laughs> Thank you, see, this I like this guy. Gorgeous. We should go to Franklin's and eat some gorgeous. brisket later.